as we talked about last night, um, we talked about in the video search strategy. It wasn't actually me. It was another gentleman. But you learned about the Google search engine and how broad and vast the search world is. So you need search strategies when looking for um, different topics. Um, so please have a, your document to uh, report notes open and give us give a subheader called search strategies. We're going to take some notes and learn about how we can search for things and do so efficiently. Push pause and then return. Alright, so now that you're back, there, when doing a Google search or any other search engine, we're going to focus on Google because that is what we use, uh, you need to have keywords and be specific with the keywords. What you need to do is precisely describe um, your search topic. Use words that you expect to see on the pages that you want to find. Be very precise. The, if, if it regards a person, who is it, what, when, where, why, or how are very good uh, ways to recognize what you want to search. Use proper nouns, uh, where you would find this information, etc. Now what I want you to do after I'm done talking in about 30 seconds is push pause and go to your your um, report notes and I want you to think about any topic that you'd like to research school appropriate um, write that topic down Get, remember focus on key specific words so push pause and come back when you're done so now that you're done did you use few words or did you write a full phrase when you're researching and you're using a search engine you really want to work on focusing on three key words uh, make them unique to what you're looking for and all the words you put in the in your query will be used now here's the thing when you come across words that you don't know you can put them into a google search and actually figure out what they mean so what i'd like you to do we're not going to use our topic just yet i want you to go to a google search tab you can push pause when you need to and type in the word query and see what comes up for a definition and then write down that definition in your science notes remember we're practicing how to research and strategies that can help us alright now that you're back hopefully you found a definition now we're gonna go back to our topic that we had talked about before or that you had chosen before look down below at the example let's pretend you're going on a trip to Mexico and you're going to Cancun you want to check the weather for the week well it's better to say weather Cancun because you have keywords than to say weather report for Cancun because as you remember in the video before the lesson before it says when you put it in the search engine it'll look for keywords as in weather it'll look for something that's a report Cancun and Mexico so you might get information about Mexico and you might not even want it or you might get information on how to write a report and that's not what you're looking for so use keywords and keep them concise so now that you have your topic chosen and you've narrowed it down to a few keywords what to really get what you want use quotation marks all around the phrases if you want just that so as you can see George Washington is in quotation marks now that, that, that we know him to be the first president but if I had just put George in Washington it would give me results for Washington which might be uh, the city or the state for that matter so use quotation marks to get an exact search what I want you to do is push pause in a second and then go and type in the Google search engine your topic that you want to do type it in without quotation marks see what comes up then put quotation marks did anything change sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it does depending on the the words that you chose it might vary now when you're looking for uh, searching for something you want to kind of stay away from words that have multiple meanings um, or at least add another word that would assist you so like if I put web in my search engine it would find pages that would deal with spider webs the network um, fabric or even the membrane so think about what you want and remember what in the previous lesson if you really want something it's a, and remember the mullet if you wanted mullet mullet has multiple meanings so if you don't you could don't want the hairstyle you can do mullet minus the hair and that will give you a result that does not 
your results will not have hair involved. So clarify your query using search results. Now we all know what query means now. Well, what you're going to do is look at your results and see if you can scan for anything else that might assist you. If you look at some of your search, you might find better keywords that assist you. So you might notice an evocative phrase or a word that better describes your target. Now I'm willing to bet some of you are thinking right now, evocative. What does that mean? Go, go look it up and search it. See if you can figure it out and write down the definition. Quarry and, and evocative we will talk about tomorrow and see if you actually found the results. So right now you have uh, put in your search engine. You might have two tabs open, one for looking up definitions and one for um, looking for your topic. Um, make sure your results and see if you can uh, use any other keywords. Now this is something I will never tell you unless you are searching or taking notes. Don't worry about punctuation. Most times it is not needed. Spelling, Google will spell check it for you because sometimes you don't know what the word, how the word is spelled. Or even capitalization. These are not important when searching on, on a Google search engine or taking notes but don't take that as not using them at any time just when you're searching or taking notes so finally to finish out our lesson use keywords try to keep it down to three quotation marks will be an exact search for that item um, if you have words that might have multiple meanings you might want to think about a synonym for that word uh, clarify your query using research results and don't worry about spelling punctuation or capitalization good luck in your search searching endeavors